People don't know who the hell worked there. <laughs> Ooh. That's right, man. That's right. What a, then we on the apple lane? Where the rest of the Dr. Pepper at? He said we on the <laughs> Now this motherfucker brought me half of Dr. Pepper. Dad, I'm an adult. You bring me the other part, half of the bottle, man. This nigga trying to look boy me, man. That's the shit I'm talking about. Nah, I ain't gonna give him all that. He'll peep me in the bed. <laughs> Say, yo, what you spill it on yourself? Don't get, it's like somebody stop it. Don't give him all that drink. <laughs> That's exactly how they used to do us, too, when we was younger. Exactly. Uh-uh, put that drink down. Yeah. Nothing after eight. Yeah. I believe it shook my shit up. My shit got flat as soon as I asked for the other half. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. What y'all been up to, man? Working. Working. Trying to save lives. Man. Trying to save lives. That's what we do. All right, well, hey, on that note, I'll ring the bell. <laughs> lives got to be saved, man. Lives have to be saved, J-O-N. Did you know that? I did not know that. Not only do we have items for sale on the black market, but we're also getting into the life-saving business Absolutely. right now. Yes, sir. You think I'm playing, but I'm dead-ass serious. Don't mind what kind of pants he got on. <laughs> this is serious business right here on the black market today. Got some very special guests with us. IMG, the Independent Medical Group, man, so y'all get him around the applause. Please. First of all, for being independent, now give us a little background on what y'all got going on. Look at them one of those cameras. Introduce yourself. You second, because you just wow. You get your last. <laughs> um, my name is Steve Vixamar. I'm the COO and co-founder of Independent Medical Group and Healthy MD. Okay, bet. My name is Clifford Knights. I'm the CEO of Healthy MD and IMG. Okay, okay. How did this come about? Uh, we went to high school together. Uh, we threw parties in high school. Burn. Fast forward. The dude that owned the clubs that we threw parties at, he owned the pharmacy, mm. HIV specialty pharmacy. HIV specialty pharmacy? Yeah, mm -hmm. he asked us to come work with him. We see Where what is he that? was doing it's in South Miami. Florida. I've never seen an HIV specialty pharmacy. Yeah, you wouldn't see it though. Oh, it's, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's closed door. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, so he asked us to come work with him. We said no at first. He was like, just come check it out. We went and checked it out. We seen that he was saving lives. He was working in our community. We're from the underserved community. I'm from Boston. Steve's from Brooklyn. Boston um, ain't underserved. Dorchester is. <laughs> oh, hell no. All the white people up there, y'all got plenty of resources in Boston. No, no. Downtown Boston. <laughs> no, hell no, hell no. Dorchester. We've been to Boston downtown. We ain't right, seen no it, black people it. down there. No. Yeah, Dorchester ain't there. No, I'm just messing um, with you. But I'm from Dorchester, so we're from the underserved community, and we just love that he was saving the community. Right. He was helping the community. He was delivering HIV medication to pediatrics, delivering to the um, women and to the black men in the community. So we said we wanted to be in that business, okay, right? Um, so he was doing good by doing good. You know, he was able to feed his family, but he was also able to save lives. Right. And still have a nightlife and own a few clubs and all absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So that's the perfect thing to add to the portfolio. Absolutely. The, cra the crazy <laughs> you know, thing about that don't require you to do it all day. Yeah. yeah. The crazy exactly. thing about that um, is that the gentleman was an entrepreneur. He wasn't even a pharmacist. He wasn't a doctor. He was just a vision he saw a need and decided to fulfill that need and that's kind of what got us into this medical space that we're in because we're not doctors ourselves. Exactly. We're just not with those pants. <laughs> no, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're not doctors ourselves. We just, I mean, by the graces of God, we were, you know, forced to kind of be in this situation. So fast forward to where we are today. Today we're independent medical group, as you just stated. Yeah. We have, you know, 10 brick and mortar clinics all over the state of Florida. That's hard. And we have 15 mobile clinics. We actually have more mobile clinics than brick and mortar because our whole model is, you know, bringing the service services out to the community. Most yeah. of the people in our in the underserved community don't have the means for transportation and things of that sort. So our mission is to provide, you know, access and um, education. You know, and education. How long y'all been in the business? Shit, 25 years. Word? Yeah, right out of high school. We threw parties when we was in high school to right. pay my 
Jetta car payment, my 94 Jetta car payment. Damn. That's why we started 94? throwing. 94? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you had a car payment? Yes. Man, yes. they robbed the hell out of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly why we got to step up our financial <laughs> literacy <laughs> black people. There is no way you should have a, a car payment on a 1994 anything at this point. <laughs> people should give you shit from 1994. <laughs> this young man started out behind the eight ball. <laughs> who, is, who is the low down ass person that put a high school student? <laughs> on a payment plan for like 1994. <laughs> I want him locked up, because he got to be out of the car I business. Agree. I agree, because the clutch was fucked up and everything. Come on, and it's a lemon. <laughs> oh, and it's a lemon. We had to get around. We had Man, to get you around. probably got motherfucking <laughs> mesothelioma and nightmares. <laughs> we ain't supposed to be in no car from 1994. Yeah, man, we had that car. Steve was like, yo, we should throw a party to pay the car payment. We started throwing parties. That was, that like, was like, once 30 people showed up, the car was paid off. Oh, yeah. For, for sure. sure. For sure. For, sure. for, for sure. sure. That was our first little business, seeing this promotions back then. But that's then. your real partner, man. Anybody yeah, yeah. who arrived ride no, in 94 sure. was your <laughs> Y'all wasn't even born in 94. What the shit is that? Yeah, we're not older than we know. I was saying born in 79. So really, you 60 years old. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> With them kids. Black yeah. don't crack. Yeah, so no. this is just midlife crack yes, type shit. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. One of them young boys is going to roast your head down, up. <laughs> Got the leopard on, though. On you a cougar. <laughs> 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 Word. Uh, Word. Word. <laughs> but, nah, man, I had to make light of the situation. Nah, what y'all doing is so serious, man. Nah, we appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, Getting yeah, medicine sure. to the people, you know, and, and saving lives, man. Everybody got that, that person in the family who be sick as hell with all kind of shit. They always yeah, yeah. gotta go to the doctor, always need some pills. Yeah, unfortunately. And they don't, sick people don't mind telling you they sick. Ah, oh, nephew, they say I gotta have another surgery. Yes, sir. Yeah. On what? The surgery I had. <laughs> they gotta fix the surgery. I gotta have surgery Adrian. before the surgery so I can get the surgery. Like, damn. That's real. <laughs> Hell, that's so true. That's, well, for that's us, a... we focus on sexual health, mm -hmm. right? So STDs, HIV, hepatitis C, and prevention HIV care. Yeah, and we do, and we just started doing mental health like the end of last year. As well. Yeah, because yeah. you know, STDs and mental health, that's the same thing. Mm. Yeah, because your mental health can get fucked up. <laughs> Nah, it's true. I mean, you, you it's, I mean we joke about it, but we realize that a lot of people that deal with whether it's HIV, hepatitis C, or any STDs, you know, a lot of percent of the time they do have comorbidities, where do, they do have behavioral health issues, unfortunately. That shit's driving you crazy knowing that your sexual health ain't, ain't right. That's, that's true. I mean, we do a lot of testing Big at a lot of the colleges. Yellow shit and thing like we, we do a lot of testing at the colleges, and it's and it's astounding if you hear the rates of these colleges, man. It's 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 crazy. What, what, yeah, what's it's astounding. Down? That's why I don't be fucking at colleges. <laughs> I only fuck women who graduated. <laughs> yeah. 20 million new STDs last year, 5 million Don't came from college. Don't be on here spreading all that shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how many. We gotta, we gotta educate the people, man. We want, I mean, that's, that's kind of what <laughs> we're trying to do. You think the people don't know this? You know what? They don't, though. It's they crazy. They do. You think so? Yes. So, so, how old are you? 40. You're 40 years old. So, you remember TLC with the condoms on the eye. Mm -hmm. You remember. Salt and pepper yeah. with let's talk about sex. Yes. All of that, right? Yes. Even Kid and Play where they had the condom in the wallet, right. right? They don't have none of that shit now. You know why? It's all about fluid. It's people ain't gonna sex. use them anyway. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Know, you do know, know about that. I don't that. know about that. You know why? We're not educating our community. Our community, our kids nowadays, it's I all about I get very defensive sex. when people talk no, no, about no. our community because they act like we the worst at everything. No, no, no we're not the no. worst. I don't think we're the worst but at the everything. Rates, the rates speak to it. It's not, it's not, it's not us speaking to it. It's the yeah, rates. 42% of new HIV cases in the black and brown community. Why? Because the other community is not reporting their numbers. That could be it, Them too. motherfuckers outnumber us 12 to 1. You think we got more shit than them? The thing, Bro, the thing, come the on, thing, man. The thing about them, though, is that they've been getting tested. They, been, they still they got, got insurance. It. They got insurance. They've been getting tested. They've been getting it taken care of. We don't you get can't get this get shit taken care of. Once you got it, you got it. <laughs> no, nah, actually, you no, can though, no, man. You can. Listen, we've been in the space for a long time, right? So we came from the early ages where if you are HIV positive, you probably were on seven, eight different medication cocktails. Today, you could take one medication, and after you know 60 days and 90 days, you'd be undetectable. You could live a very healthy life if you have HIV today. It's not like how it was when we were kids. And they actually have. Um, what you mean when we was kids? I had that shit when I was. I'm saying when you were when we were 
were younger, people thought that HIV was like a death sentence. It's not that way today. HIV. <laughs> See how they just throw you in the numbers when you're black? <laughs> that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely not what it used to be when we were kids. I mean, there actually is PrEP, which is a prevention drug that could prevent you from catching HIV if you do come in contact with somebody who has HIV. But look at what you said. According to your stats, in the next three years, everybody gonna have it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He said 42%. Next year, it'll be another 42%. Oh, That'll be 84%. Cases. Cases. You're two and a half years, 100% of everybody gonna have this shit. <laughs> I'd hope not, man. Yeah, I would hope not. According to your staff. Of new, of new cases, but we're doing our job, so it's not going to happen that way. Right? I'd right. Not. Yeah. That's why I'm glad we locked in. Y'all leaving me some pills and shit over here, so <laughs> everybody got it. 42%, 20 million motherfuckers. <laughs> Hell, it ain't even 20 million niggas in America. How they got all this shit? And why they mix us in with the brown oh, folks? Shit. Brown folks don't be round us. When did they make black folks and brown folks the same folks? <laughs> Hell no, split us back up. <laughs> split us back up. They got our numbers fucked up on every stat. Every the stat fool, they yeah. say black and brown folks is a ridiculous number. I don't want to cut us back out. Black, separate, dead brown, because I don't even know about this shit. What the brown community say about this? <laughs> Ain't nobody heard nothing from the brown community. Do they know they be included with us? <laughs> brown community, get back to me, let me know something. I don't like these numbers. We got the fuck safer, because they yeah. lying on us. Yeah. I, I, trust me, I believe them. No, that's folks, the truth. That's the truth. We got to be safe. numbers then? You got to be safe. What, what's their numbers? What who, they do who, last who's year? They? Who's you, they? The ones who other than black and brown. Oh, man. What they do? Yeah. What type well, of numbers they put well, in? What listen, place they in? Listen, if we account for 42%... See, they the only send the black and brown numbers. You don't know. Yeah, we, you don't yeah, know. We, 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 we do. We focus on our community. What and the reason why... Well, we got to catch up. What's the gap? Are we down six or 60? What's the, what we doing? You know, you know, that's a great question. That's a great question. They got all the, the numbers, ain't that, nobody that, compared. That, that is a great question because we don't even pay attention to the other community other than that's ours. What and I'm, and that's I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you why. Is because what we do with taking our mobile clinics and going into the rural and the underserved community, we do testing and treatment, and we was at a black college, I'm not gonna say what college it was, and 20 new HIV cases at this black college. Let's go that we to a white one. Yeah, we, we actually have this. We, we, go to, we, we go to other colleges no, as well. Let's go to all white ones. Let's go to Alabama or something. Let's see yeah. what they doing. Let's, let's, let's do see. it. Let's see, let's pull up, let's just pull up. Yeah, pull absolutely, absolutely. On, we, we do that. We do that today. We do that today in Florida as well. Pull and, up and, and fucking and fam, fam, Florida State, see what they got. We're there. Yeah. We're there. I bet they got at least five yeah, they new do. cases. They do. They as much do. as they drink after each other and shit. <laughs> they absolutely do. They be kissing in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got some shit over there. That's crazy. I'm just fucking with y'all. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, that's come that's on, this shit too heavy. We don't want nobody sad watching this shit, wondering if they got it. But you have go to, get though, tested. man. You gotta go get tested, though, man. We like it's we we take it for granted, unfortunately, man. Like who? 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 Us <laughs> in our community, man. We don't. None of us here go to the doctor. I mean, how many people? How many? How many? Like, there's a lot of Black people, people. Please go to the doctor. Right. So like, you how many of us go to please. primary care? How many of us actually go, go get checked? Killing you. Unless it's broken or bleeding, we're not going to the doctor. Exactly. Right. But then, then you don't know what's wrong with you, right? So that's why we bring our mobile clinics out in the community to actually test people because people do need to get medical treatment, unfortunately. And typically, that's not a, a high on our priority list, right? We have other social economic issues that's How priority for us. It's free. It's free. We're testing Boy, people. that's some scary shit. <laughs> you, you take a free HIV test and have that shit for free. <laughs> At least charge $20. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know about one fan that they got that shit for free. <laughs> Nah, but again, that's one of the challenges to healthcare, because access and having having insurance or having the cash to be able to pay it. So we don't want that to be a barrier for why people. And then we don't broadcast that we do HIV and STD testing. Our mobile clinics say it free healthcare free screening. If you got it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's, we can't do that. Oh well, shit. Unfortunately, we can't do that. That's it's a good one. Though. That's that's a good one. Just wasted your time. Nah, but we rather people know their status. But prevention right. care too, because if you're living a riskier lifestyle and you're having unprotected sex with several women or men, then you want to be on prevention, so yeah. you don't get. It. Yeah, yeah, you do. Right. Yeah, you do. Listen, just leave that one right there for a minute. <laughs>
We Listen, taking Atlanta's this very seriously. And we're gonna get we're gonna get with y'all and we're gonna ride around to all the white schools and see what they got. <laughs> I'll pay for the gas. <laughs> I don't want just the stats on the black and brown people. I want stats on the pink people. Yellow people. people. I want all the numbers. With the stats on everybody. Especially in the college world. That's a fact. Exactly. Because we don't want this shit to be selfish. We want to make sure we get all the communities, even the people who can afford it. We charge we can charge them $20. <laughs> yes, sir. Because they serve. Yes, sir. They should have been new. They had They got insurance. They got insurance. Yes, sir. They could have went and got an annual checkup and like, hey doc, check my blood out. Most people are afraid though. Bit. Most people are afraid to know. Most people are afraid to find out. Yeah, that's yeah. issue. They, they should And on be. the college campus, you got STD clinics. On every main college campus, you got an STD clinic. Why they don't go to the STD clinic? Because the line at the STD clinic be longer than the financial yeah. aid line. <laughs> you went to school. You know no, nobody wants to go to the STD clinic because it says it's an STD clinic. Right. So they don't want to go into it. Our mobile clinic says free medical care. So everybody come to our mobile clinic and say they're getting a blood check, they're getting a high blood pressure, whatever the case may be, then they can get the STD. So now when they get in there with the white coat, they could have a real conversation versus walking into an SD clinic covering their face because they scared people are gonna see them going in there. Mm. So that's the value Wear a hoodie. of the most. <laughs> Wear a hoodie with a hat and some glasses. It'll kind of look like you, but it'd be hard to tell if it's you. From far away. Yeah. yeah. No matter what the weather is, wear a hoodie. Yeah. Oh hell, y'all should put me on the team. I we got definitely some great should put ideas. you on the team. I agree. I got some great I ideas. They would do you better than they do you on the Zoom calls, trust me. Oh, please. I'm through with Zoom calls. <laughs> they gonna, I, I'm going to have to hire a nigga look like me to get on <laughs> Let my brother start doing them shit. Fuck them. I got I to gotta do the black market. Why you think I'm still in here? Yes, sir. <laughs> on a yes, Monday. Sir. And we appreciate you having us, too. Yeah. Bro, dr drop in the info you want the people to have, how they can get in touch with you, <clears throat> how you can pull up to, if somebody got a spot they want y'all to pull up. Y'all hey, in Florida, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're in Florida. Yeah, we're in we Florida. got a gang of people from Florida. Yeah. We're what in part? Florida, but we just launched our nationwide platform, Healthy MD, right. where you can order the test kits from home, and they ship to your home, and you can test yourself, ship it back, get a telehealth visit, and get your medication shipped to your home. Yeah, That's you're doing hard. a telehealth visit, do a video camera. It's kind of like Zoom, unfortunately. Oh, y'all got the Zoom, too. That's, <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> but no, we, try to make it, we try to make it convenient and try to give access to, to people, man. That's, that's really what the whole mission is about, right? From yeah. when we started back in high school, you know, in the pharmacy days, realizing that our community don't necessarily have access to healthcare, unfortunately, right? So trying to be able to articulate that and get it into a, a, a platform and a message where people can, is palatable and they can understand and they can you know, not necessarily be afraid of what the outcomes may be. Like you said, people get ready for the surgeries after the surgeries, but until you get to a certain age when it's broken and bleeding is when we start going to the doctor. So we're trying to make it cool for people to take care of their health. There's a lot of new initiatives about get money and get wealthy, but you're not gonna be able to spend any of that money if you ain't breathing, right? So you gotta make sure you take care of your health, and that's what we're just trying to hear, trying mm. to do. What's the website? HealthyMD.com. See, yeah. I'm great at this job. I don't even have to look. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all thought we was gonna get through the whole episode, and I wasn't gonna say shit about these shiny pink ass nails y'all got. <laughs> Y'all really thought y'all just gonna come up on my show glossy nails, shiny like, and it was just gonna be cool. Yo. Yo. Hell no, we brothers. <laughs> we gotta hold each other accountable. If I don't say no, something, listen, yeah. I have an excuse, right? Yeah. Listen, you got listen, an excuse. Yes, I'm, mm -hmm. listen, I'm, I'm married for 16 years and I got Everybody two daughters. Everybody give a damn how long you been married? Got, Try to put his wife on it. I've been married 16 years. Daughters. And she don't like your shiny pink nails. I don't give a damn how long you've been my, married. My, my, my girls make Next sure I stay time clean. Come on here, take that shiny <laughs> shit off. We got man hands over here. We yeah. rolling blunts and getting dirty. <laughs> You come on here with these listen, pants so, and pink so nails. Imagine if, you went to, imagine if you went to a clinic, you went to a doctor, your doctor rolled up with dirty nails or your provider. And somebody... you're going to have the same results. Yeah, you got some beautiful <laughs> nails, but your liver's failing. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, try to flip that shit on me. Yeah. Look at all the men over there. <laughs> Motherfuckers don't have shiny pink nails. We outside cutting grass. <laughs> Uh, I've been married 16 I years. I got two baby girls. We go as a family. Shut up. <laughs> What's your excuse? He 
got four I'm boys. Doing, he ain't got I'm no doing, You got four sons. We're going to see that daddy. I'm, I'm doing good by doing good, man. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> man, yeah, this is my business partners. We talk to each other like that, bro. But I appreciate y'all, yeah, man. Appreciate Thank y'all for real. No, what y'all doing for the community. I appreciate you. Black man, man looking at your nails up for you too. My shit ain't going to be shining. Yeah. When that lady say, you want jail? You supposed to say, no, you are a man. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, man. Yo. You be like, yes, please, me and my baby girls want. Listen, my 13 year old and my 15 year old play ball. They play ball heavy. Word. And they get their nails done. Yeah. 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 You like, get out of here. Get your ass out there cutting grass. Yeah. I'm from Boston. Yeah, so you ain't used to have no yard anyway. No. Exactly. You ain't did shit outside. I did cut grass in Florida. Oh, oh, shit. I cut grass in Florida. You heard that. But all at the same time, I get my nails done because I like to be clean. You do? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Keep doing your thing. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, y'all welcome anytime on the black market. Whatever y'all got going nah, on. Thank you for having me. When y'all launched the international joint. Congratulations on going nationwide and keep doing what you're doing. You're always welcome on the black market. The black market is open, man. Independent medical group. Yes, sir. Thank you. My God, appreciate you. Thank you.